I weep, Grana, weep, Ninny Bum. We're back with another video, and this is, uh, I want to make this a short video, but this has kind of been on my mind for the past several weeks. Now, as you all know, the, the NBA schedule has recently come out, and I know that football is getting ramped up, but what we can't forget is basketball season is also right around the corner, because training camp is going to, I think, what, five or six weeks away from training camp starting? The season starts uh, in late October, so basketball will be upon us before we know it. And normally, and, and I'm sure a lot of older fans can relate, I used to be so excited for the season to start. I couldn't wait. Like, for me, like I like football, but it was more or less, football was just a filler before basketball season got started, and that was really what I was really looking forward to and anticipating, but... I, I have to be honest, <clears throat> the past several seasons, man, watching basketball, particularly NBA basketball, it's become more of a chore. Like, it's not as enjoyable as it once was, <clears throat> and I feel like other fans are feeling the same way, you know, and, and I don't want this to sound like some old guy sitting on the porch shaking his fist at the cloud, but you look at how things are now, yes, the league is... Is softer, you know, it used to be a time where, and I've said this before, you know, to use a boxing reference, styles make fights, you know, and, and, and in boxing, the difference of styles, it made it interesting because each fighter would present a, a different challenge that you'd have to try to solve and overcome, and now you, you had that for a great stretch of time in basketball particularly the NBA but now every team basically plays the same it's a bunch of high screen roll um, you know they're, they're shooting 35 plus threes a game low post basketball has all but, but been uh, disappeared from the game you know the, the mid range is looked down upon and all, they, all these teams are looking to get you're either looking to get mismatches on, on the perimeter or you're to shoot threes or to get layups. There, there's no difference in a, a Suns and a Timberwolves game as it is um, in some cases, you know, a Magic and Sixers game. Well, maybe not the Sixers, so they do have Joel and B. But, you know, the Magic and the Knicks, for instance. And so, because of that, every game basically looks the same. It, in so many games, it just comes down to whatever team was the hottest that night. What team made the most threes, you know. And, and, and it seemed like gone are the days of where, you know, a game was determined by rebounding or creating turnovers or transition or things of that nature. It's just become a glorified shooting contest, and it's just not as fun to watch anymore, you know. It went from, from can guys play basketball to basically – just can you do a few specialized things um, within the game and that determines uh, your usefulness unfortunately and uh, how good you're perceived and so <clears throat> because of that I'm kind of like eh on the league. Now granted with that being said there's still some things that I am kind of looking forward to the likely uh, dumpster fire that will be the Los Angeles Lakers I'm looking forward to see how that's going to turn out. And, you know, you, you want to see how some of these rookies will, will come along and what team will try to uh, torpedo their season early on to get on the, the in the Cooper flag and Ace Bailey sweepstakes. Um, so, that, I mean, there are some things to look forward to. You know, we unfortunately, as it currently stands, this will be the last season of Inside the NBA on TNT. And to be honest, I watch more episodes of that than I may watch games, even though I cover the league a little bit. Um, so it's just, I don't know. <clears throat> and because we have a commissioner that sees nothing wrong with the game and, and is seemingly dead set on ruining the game that we love until he's gone and he's going to be there for at least another five years, I don't see anything changing, unfortunately. And... <clears throat> It's just a, a bad place and a sad place for basketball fans. And I, I really feel bad for the game, at least from a professional, well, an NBA standpoint, on what it has become. And 
I don't know. Just because of that, I'm I, like I said, I'm I'm just like whatever. Um, in terms of any large degree of anticipation for this season starting, or, or what's going to to transpire, and I just it just seems like they won't notice anything until it's too late. Um, but like I said I didn't want to make this a long video. I, that, that was kind of a mini rant, if you will. But what do you think um, about you know this coming up season? Do you share my thoughts? Are you is is your excitement has it been somewhat dampered over the past several years, or are you anticipating it more than ever? You know, what are your feelings on the the current state of the game of uh, basketball in terms of NBA basketball? Do you think it's in a, a a positive place? Do you think that you know it's it's kind of been in a, a state of decline? You know, what are your thoughts? Let's have a conversation about it. Uh, in the comments section. Love to get your thoughts on it. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, holy shnikes. Lord, I hope nobody was hurt. I'm sorry. So, as you know, I it, <clears throat> real quick, I didn't give my my usual disclaimer. Um, as you know, I'm in the four-wheel studio, a.k.a. my car. And so, as I'm driving, was about to do my outro, there was um, some police cars on both sides of the road. Looks like there was some sort of crash. And between a, a pickup truck and a sedan, and the front end of the sedan was all torn up, and the truck was, was asunder atop the median, all of the wheels were gone, um, just all torn up. So, I don't know if the police officers just got there, if they're finishing, so um, hopefully everyone's okay you know, there, there's no fatalities or anything like that. But I just, I, I as I was driving, I just saw this crash, and it just totally took me out of what I was, I was saying. But, um, yeah, wow, man, I hope everybody's okay. Uh, with that being said, man, I, I, I thank you all for spending a few moments with me. Um, I'll be back with more videos really soon. I'm trying to do my best to make sure that I, that I stay on a consistent. Uh, uploading schedule, but also that I'm giving you um, informative, engaging content that you want to see. So, and you know, if there's anything that you come across um, that you would like me to uh, to check out, or maybe give my thoughts and opinions on, you know, shoot that over to me, um, and I'll check it out and see about doing a video on that. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close the the show out today. And as always, always, always. Make sure to tell the ones that you love that you love them. Peace.